Bruh, Pokemon Rick rolled the hell out of me today. They got me good whenever they were actually showing this Lugia. I got tagged in it a couple times. I'm sure a couple people have seen this floating around. By the way, what's up? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Saw this floating around. Got tagged. It was the Lugia V. There is a Lugia V that's coming out. And a lot of people are posting this as God's gospel for the Pokemon card coming out. It's an alt art. It looked like an alt art anyway. But no, this is just previous art that was done for a binder set that Mitsuhiro Arita did like in 2005. This is something way back then. This isn't real for the Pokemon card. It's real art, but this is not projected to be on any card set. And it got me good because at first I like started posting a couple things about it. I realized I was stupid, posted I was stupid, and then said my justification for it. To me, this just seems like something 2022 would do where they put a Pokemon up there. And we have had a hot minute of evolutions being the hotness. So I figured, of course, that could be something. I do like this art, and I do understand the reference that it's going for, and I did even at the time, too. This is from Heart Gold Soul Silver where Lugia is being revived out. You got the Kimono Girl signature Pokemon right there. Each of them had an evolution. They were in one of the cities. I, it starts with an E. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. It's like Yurka Tree or something like that. And that's where that was. I understand what the reference to that was. What gets me, though, is I did have a couple people tell me immediately. I was like, and there was a couple people who I trusted their word for that stuff that they knew that this was going on. And I was like, oh, yeah, for sure, whatever. And I did a little bit of research. I found it. And I was like, okay, that's fucking what it was, 100%. I apologize. You had people messaging me that stepped into this community, like, maybe, like, a year ago or something like that. Maybe even less time than that. Going, like, how would you not know what this was, bro? That looks kind of dumb. It's like, yeah, man, I don't know everything. My fucking bad. I don't know. At least I'll tell you to your face I was wrong. At least I'll admit some shit. I'm real here. I'm going to tell you. I didn't know something. And that's kind of, it got me thinking. I'm a super long-time Pokemon fan. I've been in Pokemon since the very fucking beginning, and I didn't know this stuff. And it's just kind of funny that we got a lot of experts, especially in, like, Japanese or any of that stuff, like, things that they weren't doing before. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, just kind of stepping in and telling people things and stuff like that. People get stuff wrong about Japanese Pokemon cards all the fucking time. I catch it all the fucking time. I keep it to myself, usually, because it's not really that big of a deal. But when people are wrong, and you're told you're wrong, and you look it up and you're actually wrong, the first thing you should probably do is not be an asshole about it, right? You shouldn't really be like, oh, what the fuck is I guess, in theory, if they really, truly, actually wanted to, I super doubt it. I bet they already have something sketched out for a Lugia art card. This is just a mock-up or something they were doing. It's just, it's funny that we have people now that will not even be real to you about something they're wrong. They can't be wrong. Nobody can be wrong when everyone here is human. Everybody here is going to mess up. I mess up stuff quite a bit. I admit when I mess stuff up, and a lot of people do that stuff too. I've just realized here that that's kind of my issue with a lot of PokeTubers and things like that is they're fake. They won't even admit when they do something wrong. They won't even admit. They'll just brush right past it and act like they're perfect human beings, and that's just not the case for anything. I'm going to make get some stuff wrong. I'm going to get some things wrong, okay? You're going to get some things wrong. Everybody's going to get some things wrong. And this art kind of opened my mind to like how many people here have a mindset where they think they are just the supreme beings and they know everything. When you actually look and see how long they've stepped into Pokemon, they're like, just picked up the hobby again in 20. There's no fucking way you knew. I'm sorry. There's like a handful of experts that knew about this art. I've been in Pokemon for fucking ever. I'll admit, I have never seen it before. I didn't see it. There's just no way you're going to know every single product. There's going to be an instance where you're wrong. And I just, I find it extremely hard to believe that all these scholars that all of a sudden know about this stuff are going like, how'd you not know about this stuff? Kind of coming down condescendingly to people because this card does look convincing, which is kind of scary for fake card markets just popping up. Now you can see why proxies are kind of taking over and things like that. You can make a scarily, accurately good card, man. It's kind of weird. And I mean, everybody's going to get fooled by that stuff at some point. I do encourage people to do their research and that applies for me as well. I need to do research as well. It's just fucking funny that people are double, tripling, quadrupling down or going in here and acting like a complete jackass about stuff going like, how'd you not know this is real? And it's like, what do you mean how did I not know this is real? I didn't see that stuff. That's like going into like someone's Super Mario 64 playthrough when they've never played the game before. It's like 2022, but you've played it in like 1998 or something. And like you see people struggling to get some of the power stars. They're like, bro, how do you not know about these power stars? I've never played the game before. Why, how, how would I know that stuff? How would I know that? I've never seen this art before. How would I not know that this is real? How I'm just supposed to trust people's words on the internet and pass that go. It's just funny. It's real funny. I know that's rich coming from me, a commentary channel. I just wanted to let y'all know I was wrong. And some people are also wrong. They're just not going to tell you they're wrong. At least I have the balls to tell you I fucked up on that stuff posting initially. And you should do, do some research, man. Do some stuff. We ain't got a lot of experts in here. I'm just telling you that right now. If I didn't know that shit... 99% of y'all didn't know that shit either. There's people in this fucking community that don't even know who Minior is. They don't even know who Minior is. A Pokemon. 
Don't even know. Just fucking blazes right past him. Don't even know what that Pokemon is. It's fucking weird, cool, whatever, do your thing. That's all I got. Eh, eh, I don't really care how people feel about this video. I'm, I'm just, I'll just keep it real with you right there. I was wrong, and a lot of people are wrong too. Just be, let people know. Don't be an asshole about it. That's all I got. See you later.